Hi, I'm Elaine Harding. Welcome to my blog at stampwithelaine.com. The new September to December 2023 mini will be launching on the 6th of September. I can't show you inside the catalogue, but the cards featured on the cover is from the Joy of Christmas Suite collection. If you'd like to make a note of it, it's on pages 28 to 31. In the Winter Meadow Suite collection, which is on pages 36 to 38, you can order the entire suite just by entering a single code. I'll put that below in the subtitles. You will get one each of the stamp set, the dies, which is quite a bumper pack. You get the Faceted Gems Trio Pack, the sheer ribbon with the silver edging and a pack of 12 by 12 specialty paper. There are six sheets in the pack, two each of single side design. So there's that one, which we'll be using. This and that one. I think this one is called the Snowflake Magic. I've cut these in half because I've used the other half for my samples and each, these are 12 by 12 inch sheets. Um, there are two each of six double sided designs. going to be using that one. So this is the card we'll be making and this is a paper piecing effect. So they're actually one inch squares. The other dies I'm using are from the Something Fancy die set and I'm going to be using these two dies. Lost Lagoon ink and a blending brush. I'm also going to be using the basic rhinestone jewels and tie a bow with the silver sh sheer ribbon that goes in the suite. So the card base is four and a half by nine inches in metric that's 11.5 by 23 centimeters. On the long side you score at four and a half and fold it in half okay i've taken a six by six inch designer series paper in this pattern and i'm going to cut them into one inch strips one inch by six inches and then cut them again at one inch by one inch squares i've put an adhesive sheet behind so that it would be easier to glue it down to a four and a half by four and a half inch piece of basic white cardstock. This piece for the other third of the card is two inches by four and a half inches in metric that's five centimeters by 11.5 centimeters. Then you need a piece of basic white scrap to cut the label and also a piece of Lost Lagoon scrap. So let's get started. First I'm going to cut it into one inch strip and then I'm going to cut those into one inch squares and I'm going to throw them down as I go along. So I'm going to carry on cutting and gluing those on off camera, otherwise it will make the video too long. Oh dear, I forgot to press record, but I've trimmed off all the excess. So I'm going to just trim this off. And I want two and three quarters, two and three quarters. 
I'm going to put tear and tape on this side. To tear and tape on the top. Just going to release some of that. Just give me a bit of wiggle room. And on this bit, I'm just going to put the ribbon. I want just the end to show. And I'm going to put another strip on top so that it will stick down. So I'm going to make sure that that is straight and flush with the end of the card before I remove the tape. But I won't remove this bit yet because I want to glue the other designer series paper on. Now from the Magical Meadow die set I'm going to cut this sprig and this one. And then I can gauge how much cardstock I've got left to do my label. I'll go and die cut that off camera. So now I'm going to stamp Winter Wishes. And die cut that label and I'll be back and die cut the larger label with the Lost Lagoon cardstock. Glue this label on top of the Lost Lagoon label. Pop some dimensional nulls on the back. Remove the backing paper and stick that down. For the inside I'm just going to do a tiny little bit of stamping in Lost Lagoon and just a little dab along here on the bottom and there you go the card is finished I forgot the bow keep it on the roll and I'm just going to tie a bow and I'll just attach it with a glue dot. I hope you've enjoyed today's sneak peek. Pop back for more inspiration next time. Thanks for watching. Bye.